previously on Faith Samurai Remnant. Oh God, he's got the goop out. Don't try to eat it, Yori. No matter how delicious it may look, I'm sure a little bite will be fine. <laughs> Yori, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, it just looks so delicious. And it actually does taste like strawberry jam mixed with human blood. And now back to showing off my Yori figure and my Saber figure and my Musashi figure and my Daoyu figure and my Joan of Arc figure and my Chima figure and my Sao Yu figure and my Li Shu Wen figure and my Mash figure. Wait, I don't even know who this person is. I don't care anymore. I need more. more! Sneak up B! Back with some more Faith Samurai Remnant. When we last left off. Ah, uh, yes, my young protege. I wish to challenge you to a duel. Shut up, Maggie. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! He keeps spamming the same move again! Again, again! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. I'm dead. I win. You suck, Yori. Blech! Anyway, after beating Musashi yet again, we have come to destroy the Waxy Moon Ritual once again. Isn't that right, Yori? Yori? Yori! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're totally, totally, totally gonna, gonna destroy this thing. Yeah, let's fucking get up. Mm, yep. But suddenly, Chiamon's there, and we don't instantly kill him this time. Shit. And they've got Kai again. Double shit. Time to make our way over there and stop him once and for all. But as Chiamon fuses with the Wax and Moon Ritual and absorbs Kaya, he becomes lit the literal demon breaking out through the gates of hell. In an epic final fight, we send his fiery demon ass packing with Takiru, finishing him off with one last final blow. And Chiamon realizing that maybe God has not forsaken him after all. And Yuri's like, God, I need a nap. <laughs> Come on, Kaya, we're going home. It was a nice ending. I, I, like I said before, I still think the, uh, I think the other uh, route had more impact on me, but I do think this fight was overall just better and cooler than just fighting this random dragon that shows up from ca uh, Caster, just throwing some shit together. But I overall liked uh, Chiamon's uh, like story arc. And honestly, I kind of like everybody's arc in this game. Everybody's got an arc. All the bad guys, all the good guys. It's really quite satisfying. Like, nobody feels like they got screwed out of anything. Like, the last remaining piece was Chiam on here, and that's why I was hoping, God, I hope the other route does focus on him, because if it doesn't, that will suck, but uh, it sure did. So, everyone feels like they've changed by the end of the game, you know? In some way. And we as the player got to, to learn something about them and to see their journey, and that's just, you know, that's part of the fun of this shit, man. That's why in a lot of ways, I, I feel like this game is like a visual novel, but with actual, like, you know, gameplay aside from just making some choices. I mean, it does lead to the story being a bit of a slow burn at times, but it pays off so much by the fucking end. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have any comments to read this time around because I'm actually recording this video pretty early. As in pretty early, as meaning I literally just finished recording the last episode. Uh, and the reason is uh, holidays are just around the corner um, and myself and Sai have stuff going on, so... Uh, we're getting some of these videos done a little bit earlier, just so uh, we can free ourselves up for uh, hanging out with family and things like that. So as a result, uh, this this video is not going to have a comment of the day. I apologize for that. And I, I know it sucks a little bit because it's like right at the end, so I can't really make up for it. But don't worry, I will, of course, still be reading everybody's comments and, you know, liking and leaving hearts for people just so you guys know that I uh, I did see it. I did read it. And I always appreciate you guys' your feedback, especially on this series. You guys have been so good at, like, really, like, filling me in on all this cool, like, fate lore and character stuff and, and stuff that I obviously never would have known about on a first playthrough, as well as, you know, characters showing up at other sources of fate media that I've, I've yet to encounter or may never encounter, like, the fucking mobile game. Sorry, I think that one's probably going to be a bit too much of a grind for me. But it has been a joy, honestly, just learning all about the fate series not just through the game itself, but through you guys and your contributions in the comments. So truly, uh, thank you guys so much. It's really made this journey uh, that much more enjoyable for me. So I hope you know that. But here we are. Uh, I believe that this is going to be it. The moment of truth and justice, the final ending. I heard, did hear you guys say before that this one is not quite as long as probably the other two endings. So this might end up being a relatively short video, but I did feel like, you know, that these last couple endings deserve their own and their own video you know as opposed to jamming both of them in just one video it looks nice and clean that way and it also gave me a little bit of time at the end because I, I still spend time you know describing my thoughts and feelings on the game as a whole so it'll give me a little bit of extra time to do that so all right uh we gotta go ahead and just be Masashi once again and get to the 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 decision moment so let's go ahead and uh 
Cut ahead to that real quick. See, I feel like the whole game has just been building up to this moment here. Like this, this, like, almost like this acceptance of, like, who Iori actually is. It, like, the, the insinuations, the hints they put in, even in the pre, like, the first route of the game, I was, like, sort of seeing it, like, oh, and it had me just, like, oh, fuck, this is freaky, dude. And then when the second one, he re and then it really showed his true colors, right? But now, now, but even now, it's, like, even up to this point, we're still seeing the good of Iori, right? We're still seeing that, that goodness. I think this is the moment, potentially, where that might all go away. Oh shit. Will Otachi Bana sacrifice herself? あの for peace oh god oh jesus god okay here we go i'm like i'm scared about what's gonna happen here we're gonna watch this all right just just in case we'll see if the narrator says anything about this shit Final chapter, Entreat the Darkness. Iori, what are you doing? Put the stone to me. Or... おのが手で断ち切るか。もしもの話だ。セイバー。英月の器は立たぬ。そう。俺が口にしたならばどうする。ニオリ。ああ。この後に及んでみようなことを言う。随分なわがままだ。そうだな。あくまでもしもだ。
知右衛門おじけづいたか<笑>では試合と行こうそのためにここまで来たのだろうさあ<笑> you really run? いより邪魔はうせた最後の仕上げにかかるとしよううんなんだその顔はあああの問いかけかあんなものはただの冗談ジョークの類だイオリ君はおっしゃあファイトおまいガッマイストマキスチューニングデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデューデ I'm just gathering my thoughts. Wait, you are still alive? She needs to no servant to get it. Do it a tari or he a tari. それは僕のセリフだひどく腹が減ってあ魔術師ならばいい需要になる少しは長く記録を続けられそう、huh, so I guess he did live I guess it probably is maybe a little different thing because at this point in the other route he would be attached to Zang Was he killed Zang or something? But I don't think so. t o s e no Tami no Tamashi made a Kurate Nagarai a Wagami. Mui ni Kuchisaseru Tsmoriwa Nai. Kisama no Jiju Nazo. Stekotoke. Where's Lancer, by the way? Did she not grab Kaya? Ore to Nashi ni Oiga Surunde. Eh, Anshi Suru. Gedo Rashi Gedo no Nioida. ここで死ね。今すぐに死ね。俺の願いのために英霊七鬼ことごとく死ね。願い。願いか。お前がそれを口にするなど。滑稽極まりないな。命の一つや二つ投げ打つ気概があるならば。まだ救いようもあるが。お前。The sword demon. Yarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayarayaray
とこしえにかなわないのだと<笑>そうかもなだがかなわねえのはてめえも同じだ。So、they nuked each other essentially. Ah, <laughs>、oh, don't follow me to hell. I guess he kind of just left Lancer. I feel like Lancer, wouldn't Lancer have chased after him? I don't know. Oh, there she is. She had, she had Kai. I guess she was still trying to make her way back over there. But he's already gone. I'm gonna go put her back. Just like that, there's nobody to stop us now, right? Oh. Tachibana's awake. Oh, I'm、well, back to Kai again. And back to a touchy bottom from that walk away there. All right, here we go. Ori, Ori. I finally get to burn you now, dude. I'm gonna do it this time, for real. Get in there, old man. Interesting. So, this actually does happen in this route. のギによって江戸の民が死ぬ悪しきことは許されぬことだそれはわかるだがこれ以上見て見ぬふりはできない平穏の世にあって
渇きに乾いた小野がうちの剣をセイバー俺は英月を災いとしてトアに残すあお。I see. He's going to keep it there so everyone will always fight over it. So, ka. Odoro ka nai no ka, Seba. Odoro ka nai no. Kimi wa so suru shka nai daro to. Wakatte ita. Hinata no gotoku odaya ka de. 人の道をたっとぶ余人はそういうふうに俺を見るお前もだったなもう一度言う俺は違うそうではないんだ人として正しくあろうとは思う情も心も人の世には有益なもの中世穏やかによく生きるための最善手まさに呼吸のようなものだそれはわかるわかっているゆえにこそ従っただがそれが目的だったことは一度もない夢に見たこともない俺の目的は今も昔も変わらない変えられない欲とするものはただ一つ剣の道を極めることだからセイバー俺はやはり優しい人ではないんだよ。俺が穏やかに振る舞うのは、人の道をたっとばんとするのは、穏やかで、人の道をたっとびながら生きる太平の世の人々を理解するため、相手が何を思い、何を考えるのか、理解すれば切りやすい。多くを切るため多くを俺は理解したい江戸の人々を師匠をお前を誰も彼もそうとも誰も彼もに俺は勝つ誰も彼もを切り伏せるそのために生きているあの夜に見た極限の剣のようにだから<音声>だから残す英月は残すあまたの強者を誘い集うための災いとして Those fucking eyes! 俺のために残す思えばそう大蛇を断ち切るお前を目にしたかの日より剣の神がごときありように見とれたかの日より俺はお前とし合うことを何より願っていたのかもしれないああ俺はなんとセイバーミュマリヨリセッデガッツグザスシクルドリミットスカイセイバーのライチスプリンス Who am I controlling here? It is a Yori. Oh, 
叶えてやれたらどれほど良いかその願いを捨てて食べればどれほど良いか Oh man, so hype Can only end one way Oh shit Now, Saber, use your. <laughs> use your double fantasma. Fucking die. Don't step in that shit. I've been hit. I was hit by that move a bunch of times, even when I, we were still friends. So let's be honest. I'm starting to think it was intentional now. Because he knew this day would come. Ugh. Show me more. Show me the power of a god. Ah! Oh my god, you made me so slow! Oh god. Ah! 
るか発揮怒涛なぜ Ow. Kimi no you told me. Cuts the many. I tell no kimochi of Kanga Tanda. Ah. Saber was observing him just as he was observing Saber. Sereva. Catenaina. Iori, Motomuru ga hito no michi nareba, kanarazu ya koufuku ni ikirare taro. Da ga omae wa. 剣の道を求めたことで全てを捨てた首手柄はわしの代までだこの先に戦はない人の道しかない教法の祭りは終わったのだだというのに<笑>いいよりよお前は。生まれる時代を間違えた己の我を殺し欲を殺し太平の世の空気を拒んだそれこそ息をしない屍のように剣の道はついえていたんだだが、剣としてお前に打ち壊されたまさに望んだ通りの人生だ長い夢のようだったがイオリあの夜殺されるはずだった港の一夜から。ずっと続く月に焦がれるような夢だったなんだまったく師匠も人が悪い剣であってもこれ以上はない。共に恵まれることがあるじゃないか。Oh.
Because Saber finally gave him what he always wanted. Because he felt like he sort of died that day, right? So I feel like he's been living in a long dream. Tuned to train and become the most as strong as he possibly could. But then Saber finally gave him the, the warrior's the warrior's death, you know? And, a, and an ultimate opponent that he couldn't beat.私の願いを叶えてもらう。もしもあったのだろう。でもいいんだ。願いは叶った。これ以上は望めない。What Saber wanted was it wasn't necessarily a piece. What she what Saber wanted was a friend. Fuck, dude. That's a really good ending. Fucking shit, dude. That was such a... Wow. Fucking hell. That was such a good ending. It was so much better than I even thought it... I, what I thought it was gonna be was just like, you know, Oh, your turns into the bad guy. Ah, oh, you know, and it's like, get wrecked and... I actually, I don't know what was gonna... Like, am I just gonna kill Saber and we get, like, the bad ending? That's sort of like kind of almost comically evil, like with boss or whatever. But no, Saber beats Yori. But then in the end, even when Yori's like, yeah, I could have just chosen the peaceful option and I would have been happy, but I wouldn't have been fulfilled, right? This is what I always really wanted was to just fight and fight until I, until I died in battle, you know? And he was happy actually in that moment because it was like the person that had become his friend through this, this epic journey, right? Had finally given him that. And then Saber was also happy in the end because that was their wish that they they finally remembered in the end. It was I thought it was going to be peace, but what Saber truly wanted was just because they lived their entire life right at the beck and call of of their their father, basically to go kill everybody, kill gods and warriors and stuff. And Otochibana had left them basically all by their lonesome. So what Saber really wanted more than anything was someone they could call like a true ally and friend. So like even in the end there, it was like this acceptance on both their parts that it wasn't like, just like, ah, oh, I gotta stop pure evil. I don't, just the way they framed it was so perfect. Neither side was surprised, you know, because they knew what each person was feeling in their, in their heart by the end. Fuck, dude. Wow. It was so much better than I, than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. I mean, it was excited because I because here's the thing. I, I was excited because I was like, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Like my but my like my guess for it was like, I'm like, if it ends up being what I'm thinking, it could potentially be. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like it very much. And it was so they just they ended up doing stuff that I wasn't expecting. And it made it so much better. And it was and it, it was actually like it made sense. And it made me give a shit, dude. Wow. God damn, dude. What a wow. Like this because like. In my head, like, this seemed like this was just going to be a bad ending, right? 
like a bad ending. That what like th like this is really the ending I want to end on, where it's just like you're just to be a sh evil shithead. But weirdly enough, it actually ended up being the best ending for both Saber and Iori, and actually ended up making the most sense, right? Because it actually was like it was like Iori like stop pretending finally. Jesus Christ, dude! Wow, I'm just I'm blown the fuck away by that shit. I am blown away by that ending. What? 79%? What do you mean 79%? 79% in the final chapter? Oh, 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 no, I know what it is. I know it, it, it is. If you have to go, interesting. Okay, it, it is what I was thinking. So if you, you have to come at it now from the other side where we didn't save, uh, uh, Dor well, no, where we saved Dorothea, but leave Rogue Saber to eat ship. So that then Caster is with Zhang that's what's missing there. Because so technically you'd see just what happened. Because I mean, I'm sure it's getting the same way where Chiyamon will come out and fight Zhang and Caster and probably kill them both. Or maybe just kill Caster and Zhang like walks off or something. But that's that's the other scene that's yet to show up there. I don't think it's significant enough that it, Because I, I'd have to play through a significant amount of the game again to get it. But I gotcha. That's, that's how you get that last little, little bit there. <sighs> Man, that was such a... Such a goddamn great ending. Man. Man, oh man. It was a really great payoff there in the end. It felt so earned, too. And that's sort of the benefit for these slow burn kind of games, you know? And because that's... I guess we'll talk about, like... Here, here are, I guess, my final thoughts, right? We did it, right? The, we've reached the end. My final thoughts here. I think this game is awesome. But I will say, this game could be, at times, like just like molasses levels of slow. And that's sort of like, a lot of it kind of comes down to like, I think what they were trying to say with the characters talking everything was good and interesting. But the problem was that it was stretched out between like areas and game, like battles and tons of gameplay that was essentially just doing the same thing again and again and again. Like that's what I mean, where I say that the gameplay of this game is good because it has a lot of like, a lot of mechanics and you have a bunch of different stances and control a bunch of characters. So there's like, there is like a decent amount of variety initially, but by the end, you're just finding the same fucking demons and human characters. And honestly, most of your, like the, your earlier stances are kind of useless compared to your other two. Like the, the, your, the last two that you get void stance and fire stance are just so overwhelmingly better than your first three that there's no reason to use them. <laughs> Like, seriously, why would you use Earth Stance? Because you have the thing that makes you invincible, essentially. It's like, I guess that's nice, but I'm not dealing out nearly as much damage. Water Stance is good for crowd control, but, like, also not doing that much damage. Wind Stance, I initially thought was better for getting rid of, like, Shell Gauge and shit, but it kind of wasn't. So I almost, by the end, was like, I don't even know what the point of this stance is. And Fire and Void are just like, hey, you just want to inflict, inflict a fucking ton of damage. And it's not hard to get, you know like it stay at full health when the game gives you so many health items. So the, the problem was that like, well, I think all the digressions and stuff were good for the most part. I do think that some of the ones that were, where it was like, hey, this is what they did right before you got to this moment. I don't know if they, all of those were necessary. Some of them felt maybe like a little bit like just a reason to have a side quest. You know, like it didn't really have anything to say. It was just like, hey, here's Dorothea and Assassin. And they're like, like, hey, they're about to run over here. And then they fight like a billion dudes. And then, oh, hey, there's Yori. You know, it's like, I don't know how necessary that really was. Did I really learn anything for that? Like significant. And again, it's like every mission is the fucking same, dude. You just run through an area and go through a bunch of like a billion of the same enemies you fought again and again. So it's like the game has variety, but it gets pretty repetitive by the end of the game. You're just going through just so many similar bouts and tackling them pretty much the exact same way. I kind of almost feel like this game needed something else aside from just the battles. Because yeah, what, like, what else is there is essentially just running around, finding items, doing the trials, which is just, again, killing guys, spending money, upgrading your little base for the, the side activity stuff, like for the the um, the ley line minigame stuff, right? As well as other things. But I mean, getting first, first off, upgrading that thing to max was like super grindy to be able to do that. And I actually did a good bit of grinding in this game, just trying to get like 
the local trials and everything completed because I actually did do them all and they were fun, but they're but they're kind of fun in a bit of a mindless way, you know, kind of like some of the Xenoblade like one like side quests were in some ways, you know, where you're like you're kind of enjoying just completing them to some extent, but you're not really sure if you're, you're there's not like a ton of substance to them. It's more like just the game to give you something to do, but it is addicting and I, I definitely did get pretty addicted to just to kind of doing some of that shit off screen because I because I was really enjoying the game and I just wanted to play more of it and that's that's kind of like the feeling I get like I'm willing to do like some boring shit sometimes just because I just want to play more of the game and that gave me a way to do it right without necessarily like progressing through the story because I can't really do that off screen obviously but I do think that overall the game structure just could have used a bit more variety because it did get it pretty repetitive by the end however however I'm like I'm sort of starting off with like negative stuff here but this game's story was awesome. And the re main reason why it was so awesome was that the characters were fucking phenomenal. Like all of them were so well fleshed out and like explained and their motivations made clear. And they all went through these amazing character arcs. And not to mention, I mean, of course the voice acting was wonderful. The Japanese dub ra rarely misses. And I mean, they had some of their, some of their best in this game, clearly. But the the masters and their servants, as well as the rogue servants, too, not to mention just their designs, which I, I get a lot of these characters are like, you know, characters that have existed in other fate media. It's not like this was like some brand new shit or something that came out of nowhere, except for some of the characters here. But I still just I mean, for someone who has never experienced any of the, the fate stuff really until this moment, I just got to just give a huge shout out to the fucking designs for these characters because they're so good. They're so like interesting and unique and like like you know some of them really like like hit hit with me like i think rogue lancer's as cool as just all fuck he gives me such grim jow vibes the ashita vibes of rogue archer boss is just i i love boss dude by the end of this game i think it was awesome he was such a like i get he's supposed to be like the most powerful character in existence but i just loved his attitude and just the how they handled him here like i'm sure in probably the other series he's probably much more serious because it seems like he's almost played up for like a kind of fan service joke in a way. But but it all like, I don't know, He it, at any moment he was on the screen, he was just like, he like captivated me. I just couldn't help but be like engaged by anything he was saying. Also just, it was fun learning like and figuring out who was actually like, uh fa this this famous character guessing who each of the characters were i mean i was terrible at it i think i got maybe two like the whole game but it was still fun trying to like to like be scared like who could this motherfucker be and everyone's just so well realized like i don't know about you guys but if i was any if i was actually that any of these historical characters that actually existed and realized in the future they were gonna make a put me in a video game and anif anime me in like the most insane way possible i'd be like this is shit's awesome <laughs> But I was constantly surprised by the the way the narrative still made me feel like I was like things were happening, even when it felt like sometimes things rally things really weren't happening that much. Because a lot of the game really was just kind of like running around and trying to sort of find people and then figure out who they are and what we're tr they're trying to accomplish and things like that, which makes sense. That's a good way to do it. And that's why the first uh, play through the game is like you don't really get the other side and the the bad guys uh perspect perspective until the second one until the second playthrough and then you get to see some of their their side of the story i think out of the masters my problem my 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 personal favorite characters were probably uh zang takao and shusetsu i really liked i really liked their their characters just the and the stuff they went through zang especially i thought he was such a bro and even his like final moment there at the end like it, it all felt reasonable once it once they like they established it once we started to get more context and they started to show like oh yeah zeng always has been kind of insanely nationalistic and will do anything for his fucking country and you're like oh okay i guess that makes a lot more sense then you know like i never felt to the point where like this feel like uh, no actually I take that back i there are moments where i felt like oh this seems like out of character for them or this doesn't seem right but there was always some explanation for it whether it was through some character's ability or just the fact that there was information that was hidden from us and wasn't revealed until later. So I didn't get to the end of the game just going like, dude, I just didn't, I didn't buy this character actually. That was just stupid. That didn't make any sense. It was like, no, it all kind of fit perfectly. That's what made the ending to this, that last ending so like just immaculate to me, you know, was that it felt like it all made so much sense. 
and it and it was told in a way that was like it left it up to the player to figure out too so i felt like satisfied like oh i i understand what they're trying to say here and that's what i find so funny is that i really wasn't expecting this final ending to be the good ending essentially even though it's not really the good ending it is it's like the sad ending in some ways but if but it felt like the the ending that made the most sense for iori and for saber because i think it was like the, that was always there was always lingering questions in the other endings right like what was saber's wish you know what what's going on with iori but the characters were so well written the the story beats while stretched out at times still felt so satisfying by the end once you got to those big moments and everything. And shit still happened. Like, there's still, like, really cool moments. Like, the first moment that Saber actually pulls out their sword and we see their, like, uh, Noble Phantasm was awesome. Everybody's Noble Phantasm moments were, like, super sick. That's so clear. I, that's clearly always going to be a hype moment in Fate, right? It's like, anytime that anyone, anyone whoops out their Noble Phantasm, it's going to be, like, some, oh, shit, get ready. Also, I have to give it to the music in this game. The music was awesome fucking great dude there were some really good bangers uh throughout this uh throughout this game including some of the town themes i really liked a lot of those town themes had like nice little like little bops to them made my made me tap my foot and some of those strings coming in for those really like tender moments i do think my other big criticism against the game is again what i said before in regards to like rogue saber while i understand from maybe a story perspective why it was done this way i still don't like it from a design and gameplay perspective i think that that was kind of dumb it's not even just the fact that oh it's one route that you just missed in order to get him this character that essentially unlocks the last bit of your skill tree it's the fact that you had to have chosen two separate routes in order to actually have this come to fruition assuming i'm understanding that correctly I, i'm pretty sure that's what i was seeing people say in the comments about this again i didn't i didn't read any of the comments i can't read comments from the last episode because we literally recorded this immediately afterwards so if i was wrong in that regard then i obviously would take that back but even if it was just one route i would still say it, it still kind of sucks a little bit it just means you're essentially you have to go into the second playthrough to get all of your skills you're still locked out of that and i, I don't think that's you know if it was if it'd be one thing if it was like oh well one like there was no way you could get all the the skills in one playthrough right like one route had this server that you could only get and one had this one that would be one thing it's like okay then the game means for you to actually have to go through it again to get it but this time it was like dude by the like i was starting the second playthrough and i've been sitting at yori having like seven uh skill points only for the entirety of it because I had them all. I was there. I could have them all right now. I'm just waiting till I inevitably get back to this other route to get this character to then just unlock his last two skills. It just felt a little silly. I also do kind of feel like the game should maybe have provided a better way to like be able to go back to previous chapters and just like, you know, play this one over the next one. I, I, as far as I can tell, I don't think there is like, right. There's not like, no, there's no like chapter select or anything. You kind of just have to like have saves in the right moments. And also, again, uh, really would have appreciated to have a skip the Noble Phantasm animation button, you know? I mean, they're really cool, but, like, I saw Sabres way more than I ever want to. And they don't go on that long, but, like, long enough to where once you've done it enough times, you start to be like, okay. Especially when you're doing it, like, multiple times in one fight. But, yeah, overall, for, I guess, my first taste and uh, step into the, the Fate series... This was a really good first impression. It was really good. I understand why people kind of love this series. I mean, to be fair, I kind of already understood it before even when I started playing it. But I think the the thing that sort of got me here was just the... Uh, it wasn't just that the characters looked cool or they had cool moves or were based off of, like, these really interesting or cool fictional or real uh, life uh, people. It was also just the fact that the the story that was written around them and the characterization that went with them was also exceptional. That actually made that shit like, like you give a crap about them and by the end you're like all fucked up because the game just like ripped you a new one with uh, its uh, storytelling and emotions and shit, you know? I don't know how many of the Fate stories and games have like a ton of gameplay stuff, like specifically gameplay. Like obviously the mobile game does, right? Like that's like its whole thing. It's like an RPG thing. I think the original Fate is just is just a visual novel. I think a lot of them are visual novels that don't really have like a ton of gameplay. So it's like, I know it's like if I were to ever check out any other Fate stuff, I feel like it would be a lot of 
visual novel stuff or potentially reacting to like an anime or something. So I'd have to think about how I'd want to go th about that. I know the Fate novels can also be really, really long from what I've heard. Like as long or maybe even longer than like Steins Gate. And Steins Gate was beefy, man. That was a big ass playthrough. But it does have me interested to see what other, some of the other stories were. Maybe even checking out the original, you know, Fate story because... I mean, that's obviously the 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 normal starting place for a lot of uh, Fate fans or, or people who become Fate fans is the the first story because that's where they'll explain a lot of the same ideas that they sort of explained here. But I'm glad that this was my first one because I, I liked that I had like like a game around it. It wasn't just like the story bits, but it still felt like it was written like a visual novel in a lot of ways because it had so much strong characterization and uh every character shined in its own way but yeah guys i think that's uh i think that's all i gotta say about that i think this game was awesome really highly recommend people check this this game out and i would say it has definitely made me a fan of the fate series or at least of this one game that i played i may or may not be keeping an eye out for figures from this game in particular. There is one for the Musashi, for Musashi, and I think Musashi is really cool in this game. The figure does look super dope, but I don't know if I'd want to get a Musashi figure. However, I would very likely consider getting an Iori or Saber figure if it looked dope enough. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely not an Aria figure. If that shit happens, I, I will actually buy it just so I can set it on fire and send it back to hell where it belongs. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed my, um first taste and uh step into the nasuverse uh as much as i did it's always fun to just kind of like try something like this you know like to step into a fandom you've never experienced before and just you know see how it goes and that's kind of what can lead you to you know falling down the the rabbit hole like me and kingdom hearts <laughs> But for me, uh, speaking personally, it was uh, a joy to experience and to understand the uh, reason why this series is so beloved. I get it now, guys. I get it. But if you guys got some enjoyment out of watching me uh, fall in love with this series and this game, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And hey, if you're not already, why not subscribe at this point? Come on, all right? If you made all the way to the end of this series and you're not subscribed, why not just fucking subscribe at this point, dude? Come on, clearly you enjoy this journey. You think I'm not gonna be doing any more fate shit? Guess again, bitch. Just fucking become a picky penguin. Aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And hey, come on, we have lots of fun around here, all right? I, I love just going in and experiencing new shit all the time. That's why pretty much all of like the 99.9% .9 of the playthroughs on this channel are com me completely blind to shit. So, and not just that, but you guys are there to, you know, help guide me and experience it with me. You know, we're playing through this shit together. But I'd love to have you aboard, even just as a silent watcher. Because to be perfectly honest, only a small percentage actually truly leaves like a bunch of comments on the video. Otherwise, I'd have like 20,000 comments for every fucking video. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me on this journey through my first fake game. That means that we will be back with a new series uh, next time. I don't think there's any one-off videos. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I, I mean, I might think of something in between now and then. Like I said, we got some holiday stuff I got to sort of uh, take care of and hang out with some family for a bit. Now, that doesn't mean you guys aren't going to get videos or anything. It just means like I'm I'm recording this hella earlier than I actually am posting it live. <laughs> so I just haven't had time to really think about what I'm going to be doing uh, after this. So, But it's okay. I'll think of something. But anyway, guys... Thank you again so much for joining me. And as always, Piggy Penguins, till next time, stay classy!